Today we will be showing you how to make DNA out of pipe cleaners. For the first step, you are going to need six different colors of pipe cleaners, two of the colors you need two of. That made no sense. You're going to take six different colors and you need two of each color that you pick. No, you need two of two of the colors. Oh, that makes more sense. Listen to him. He's smarter than me. Okay, the next step is you're going to take the color that you took two of each in and you're going to take one of each of those colors and twist them together with both like this. The next step is to take your, these, your individual ones, and you're going to bend them in a zigzag to where you get five sections. Five zags. Five zags. The next step is to take your zigzags and cut the joints. The next step is to take your bits and fold them across like this. And then you're going to do every other color. You're going to just do like two colors going down. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. With the other two colors? Yes. The next step is to take your things and put them like this and then tape the two things together. The two color loop things. Yeah. The final step is to twist your ladder to where it makes a oh, DNA pattern thing. A double helix. Mine has come apart. Yours came completely apart. Yeah. Okay, so then watch mine. Mine might work. So you want to like twist it and compress it. Um, How am I the artistic um, one? <laughs> Here, you do it. See, mine's really small. Yes, it is. This is hard. If you twist it right, like if you're more talented than we are, it should work. And then you can get like a double helix on your team skin. Of course it did. Ta -da!
Thanks for watching. I hope that your double helix works better than ours. Please like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. was loud. <laughs> Look at what you've done! <laughs> we sound like Casper and Cora now! In case you were wondering about my hair... Your hair is really long. Uh-huh.